The most important step in getting involved in decentralized finance is taking your coins off of an exchange, taking them off an exchange and moving them to a self-custody wallet. I'm, I'm using Coinbase in this video, but the process will be similar for all exchanges, you know, Binance, Kraken, and all the others. Um, I'm actually going to use Coinbase Pro. That's what I use. That's where my Atom tokens are sitting. And the reason I want them off an exchange is simple. If coins or tokens are on an exchange, then I don't own them. I can look at them. Coinbase owns them. Um, Coinbase is holding them for me. But since I want to use them in DeFi applications, I have to send them to my personal wallet. I, I like Kepler. I think it's the best wallet out there. I've used so many different wallets. It is, it's integrated with more than 20 blockchains and they are interoperable with Cosmos, which makes it the perfect DeFi wallet for this ecosystem. Here's Coinbase Pro. This is my portfolio and I'm just gonna click withdraw. There, there'll be a withdraw button on all similar centralized exchanges and I could see I get to pick which token I wanna withdraw. I'll withdraw my Atom tokens. And it's going to ask for an address, right? I'm going to withdraw these to my crypto address. Well, how do I get my crypto address? I just have to copy it from my wallet. All right, so Kepler Wallet has this drop down where I can toggle between all these different blockchains and all these different tokens that the wallet supports. Cosmos is the native blockchain for Atom tokens. So Atom can only be sent to this Cosmos address. I'll click my address and it shows that the address is copied. I just copy it here. Um, it's a good idea to double check the address, especially if it's your first time. It's going to be a little nerve wracking if you don't know if you're putting the right address in. And I just click withdraw. This brings up the two-factor authentication page. I'll do this and then the funds should arrive in my wallet in a matter of seconds. So the tokens arrived in my Kepler wallet. I'm self-custodying my, my Atom tokens. I sent five. So I've got five Atom tokens in the wallet right now. And this is the Osmosis website. This is a, kind of like a DeFi hub right now for the Cosmos ecosystem. You can see that there are a bunch of different tokens that you can use on this for you know, uh, liquidity pools, trading, uh, even staking. Uh, along with Kepler Wallet, you can do right from this page. You can vote on governance. And of course, there's a stats page where you could look at some of the uh, the total value locked in some of these uh, liquidity pools. We're not going to get into DeFi right now. What we want to do is we want to deposit our Atom tokens into Osmosis. And what this is actually doing behind the scenes is it's moving the Atom tokens from one blockchain to another. This is virtually unheard of outside of the Cosmos ecosystem. This would be like if you could take Cardano tokens and use them on the Ethereum blockchain, or if you could take Solana tokens and send them on the Bitcoin network. This is this is basically what, what happens here. And this is done with a, a click. I click deposit. It's going to automatically, you know, my, my wallet's already synced up with this website. It might ask for approval the first time you use this or the first time you use it in a new browser or a new, new device. And it's going to say that um, I'm transferring from Cosmos, then my address, to Osmo, and then my address. Osmo, the Osmo address is for the Osmosis blockchain. So I'll just click Max, and I'll do this. I just approve this transaction. Don't think you could see my wallet because it's overlaid now on the, uh, on the screen. But I just click Approve takes a few seconds. So that's it. I can see my Atom tokens are here. They're no longer on the native Cosmos blockchain. So I can't stake them, but I could use them in different DeFi applications. What I just did with Cosmos can be done with Luna, Crypto.org, UST. All of these tokens, you can do the same exact thing if you want to get involved in decentralized finance using Osmosis. Hopefully this video helped you out. Now you're no longer new to DeFi. You know how to get your tokens off the exchange, self-custody them, and bring them into Osmosis. If this video helped you out, please like and share this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you.